Okay, so today we're going to show you how to take your photos from looking like this to this using the masking tool in Lightroom. So to kick things off, I've gone ahead and linked the photo that I'll be editing today in the description so that you can download the photo and follow along if you'd like. So I personally think that the masking tool in Lightroom is hands down without question the most important tool to learn when you're editing your photos. It's the difference maker in taking your photos from this to this. So what the masking tool does is it essentially just helps you make selective adjustments to specific portions of your photo, meaning you can fine tune one specific portion of the photo without affecting the rest of the image. So there are a few different ways of using the masking tool, but for the point of this video, I'm just going to focus on the three most commonly used masking tools in Lightroom, which are the brush mask, the linear gradient mask, and the radial gradient mask. And now my personal favorite of the three is the linear gradient mask and probably the most commonly one that I use. So let's start with that one okay so first things first you're gonna open up your image in Lightroom obviously and make all your necessary color edits and get the photo to a point just kind of where it feels done now for time's sake we are just gonna talk about the masking tool in today's video but we will save color grading for a separate video again today this photo is already color graded so just do those necessary steps first and then move on to the masking tool. Now head over here and select this little circle icon thing. That's your masking panel, or you can just click M on your keyboard to select it as well. So from there, click the plus icon and linear gradient. And what this is gonna do is essentially give you this big linear gradient that you can click and stretch across your entire image. So little note, the red area of this mask here that you're seeing is the portion of your image that's going to be affected by the mask. So anything red is like what's selected right now. So by clicking and dragging this middle point here, you're actually controlling the entire thing. And by selecting anywhere on this middle line outside of the center point, you can rotate your mask. If you click here and drag, you can see how much it's kind of feathering out or sort of blending the mask. So the wider these lines are, the more of a gradual gradient you'll get. And the more narrow the lines are, the more of a harsh gradient line you'll get. So by clicking and dragging this middle point, you're controlling the entire thing. And by selecting anywhere on this middle line outside of the center point, you can actually rotate your mask. So I'll set up my mask and then drop the exposure just a touch and you can already see the difference that made. But notice the mask is also affecting the sky. So obviously we don't want that because shadows don't really affect the sky. So now we'll click up here to our masks, select the minus icon and click the brush. So now what we're gonna do is actually brush away the mask, but we're moving it. Make sure you click this little auto mask box up here because that's essentially going to try to automatically mask based on what objects or shapes are there. So if you just brush away the sky here, we're removing that mask from the sky and not the mountains, keeping the shadows kind of where they belong and off the sky. So now you've got your first mask here with your layers within that. And this is similar to like a group of layers in Photoshop. Okay, next up, I wanna add a bit more sun glow coming from this side and really brighten it up. That way we have a clear separation between, you know, where the light's coming from and where the shadows are coming from. So I'll do the same thing. I'm gonna click the plus icon up here, linear gradient, and drag it across the left side this time. Turn up the exposure a bit, and then you can kind of fine tune again with the brush tool if you need to. So this is where we're going to get extra creative. Now let's use the radial gradient tool to kind of beef up this warm sun and, and make it glow. So I'll click and drag to create a circle. Increase my exposure just a touch and then drop the dehaze tool. So this is going to give off a nice glow and just not overexpose the image like the exposure tool would if you were using that by itself. You got to really find a sweet balance between exposure and dehaze. Maybe even use your temperature tool to kind of warm it up or cool it down. And it should look something like this. Okay, now I feel like I need just a little bit more, a little something that can kind of help pull my eye into the center of this image. We've got a great balance between dark and light, but it, it needs more. So let's use this little path or whatever this is as a leading line to kind of bring your eye directly to the center of the image. So brush tool again for this one. So we can now directly select the areas we want, which in my case will be this portion here. And I'm just going to select along the edges here, a little more, select all these edges and just kind of make sure that you've got all these little peaks and, and highlighted areas and shadow dark areas around the path. Just kind of keep in mind as well where the sun is and how shadows would actually cast onto this area and just enhance them a bit. 
just make it feel a bit deeper and, and really enhance the leading line to kind of draw your eye back to the center of the image. All right, that looks good. Maybe throw one more linear mask up here just to darken the sky a touch. And that will do. Now, one thing I recommend is not go too overboard with these masks because you can essentially have your image looking like this and that's just not realistic, you know? So if we look at the three stages of this image, we just went from the original shot that looks like this and then added our color grade to make this and this is where most people would be done. That's it, that's the final image. But when you want to make your photo pop, use masks to create this. Started here, finished here. Post it, baby, and that's it. Oh, and by the way, if you use the photo that I provided in the description, please send me a DM on Instagram so I can check it out. I'd love to review them, compile all the photos, and make a video on some of my favorites. So thanks again so much for watching the video. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.